Good morning. Welcome to 4x8 Paper Stuff. This is still Beth. This is still my channel, even though I don't know how to operate a computer. We're still in the River Journal, and we're going to go to the Mississippi. Let's go. Do you know where we are? We just finished doing a European or a worldwide river, so now we're back in the U.S. to do another river. And I'm bouncing back and forth. World, U.S. World, U.S. Seven of each. Um... So this was my list in my old planner, which this one is full now. Look at all this. <laughs> Anyhow, but I made up this idea to do a world lit, a world, a river journal when I still was in this one. So I lit, made a list of seven world rivers and seven U.S. rivers. I like seven. I wanted to do both world and U.S., so that's what we're doing. And we're, we're bouncing back and forth. I started with the Broad River because that one is close to home. Then I went to the Nile. Then I went to the Sacramento because that was my close one in my childhood. It means a lot to my mom's family. And then we just finished Amazon yesterday. Now we're going back to the USA, and I think we're going to do the Mississippi. Because I went on a quilt retreat two years ago and I really really I drove I went to Missouri and I really got into um, Samuel Clemens Samuel Clemens is the name of Mark Twain Mark Twain was his writing name pen name whatever you call that thing I don't know but because I did what I did yesterday with the heron, which I really liked how it turned out, and I added the length, the countries, the flow, and the, a phrase that said, protect it, enjoy it, and learn from it. So I want to do, now, I'll be doing a title page for Mississippi here. In fact, I'm just going to write that real quick. But I didn't feel like doing that one today. So, I'm going to skip a page. And I'm going to start with Mark Twain. Now, I found these images on the internet. I'm not going to leave them here because I don't want anybody to get mad at me. And they're not, I'm not copywriting them. I'm using them as a reference. So, we're going to do another watercolor. Just happened to have me some watercolor paper here. The dogs are quiet. Let's not jinx it. I'm not going to do the charcoal this time or the Stabilo all paper pencil. Well, I say I'm not. I might. Just right here, just in case. All right, I'm going to try to do his eyes. This may total. Excuse me, how did I take This may totally backfire. And you know what? I think I am going to keep it to a writing board width. And then put some stuff about the Mrs. Maybe this is my title page. I don't know. I don't know. All right, there's no way I'm going to be able to do this. Oh! I'm going to cut this guy's eyes off. I'm going to cut this face and do the rest my way. As if this was my work. Then I'm going to go a little abstract. Kurti, you left me a message about... Um, how uh, you liked my Amazon. I liked my Amazon too, and I did a ton of painting. It's all, well, there's a little bit of collage work. There's a lot of painting. We'll see what how it goes with the Mississippi. I don't know. Okay. Now, I need a chin. He has a really big, bushy mustache. And he had a chin. 
No. I gotta be quiet for a minute here. Because Mark Twain had some wild hair. And it wasn't quite like Albert Einstein's, but it was close. Okay. Should I do the charcoal pencil? Mm. I really like how that turned out. So it's almost as if I had used a stamp because I just used his face here. From the Pinterest image of Mark Twain. Alright, I'm barely putting this in. Just barely touching this. Let's see what happens. We might this may go awry here. He has wild hair. That's kind of his thing. Now I've seen people do this. Let's see if I can do this. Well, yes, I can. Fun well, fact, so much for light. That really gets it in there. It's almost as if it was a Inktober picture now. Right? This is kind of like Andy Warhol meets Mark Twain. Okay? Keep that in mind. I gotta dry that. Note to self, when using a heat gun on glue, make sure you do it really well because it pops up. Okay, self? Okay. Alright, now, bear with me because it's going to go wild from here. I'm just going to do a psychedelic Andy Warhol Mark Twain. Maybe. It could be a hot mess. Let's see. really abstract okay I feel like I can it could be a mess or it could turn out what I'm envisioning in my head Nope, those aren't antennas. This might have taken a turn for the worse all of a sudden. Mm. Alright, let's give him his mustache. Now, I heard my paint teacher say yesterday when somebody didn't like what they were doing and they kind of considered it mud or yuck or whatever. She said, let it dry and then put a wash over it. Let's try that.
Nope. All right, let's try to erase a lot of this with water. She also says you can do this. Yeah, right. Okay, well, now I'm going to have to draw another... Spoke too soon about the dogs. I think they're awake. Don't like that. That that backfired. Okay. Oh. Now what? You think I can do it? See, this one is really abstract. Really, really abstract. I don't know. If this doesn't work, we're gonna stop this one too. Like contour drawing. I keep hearing this contour drawing. Don't stop till you're done. This is a gigantic brush. Why do I try these things? I'm not a painter. I don't know. Sometimes you just gotta go with it, right? All right, that ain't working either. What can we turn this into? I don't know. Maybe we'll use it as a background picture and try to do another one and put him on top of it. These are the waters of the Mississippi, right? It's gorgeous, whatever it is. Like a tiny symbol right there. I'm pretty sure I've never seen Jose do this. Oh well. I'm going to dry this and I'll be back.
All right. Now what do I do? I don't know, but I sure love that. We're going to keep going. This might be a background picture for Samuel Clemens. If I try to do another one. Oh, there's the male lady. I don't think Bomb Kitchen would have come already, but they're rather fast. You never know. I'm trying to be out of control with my paintbrush. I want it to happen. All right, I'm gonna let that dry and go get my mail, just in case, because we are gonna get rain. No bomb kitchen. <coughs> but I stirred up the dogs again. Their mail system out there is this in LA it comes so fast all right we're going to try it again Sorry, they're incredibly obnoxious. They're not, it's not their fault. They're very lonely all day. I haven't glued him down this time. And my lines are barely there. Okay. I try not to let mine get in on it. He had this beautiful, beautiful white hair. completely flattened out it looks kind of like black ink or gray ink actually let me try that mine's in here now foggy what you doing you want to come up here Pokey, meet Mark Twain. Yeah. Oh, you want to paint? We could start you a YouTube channel. Paint, paint, paint. Why are you shaking? You want to paint? Huh? You want to paint? Okay, go play. Not really, Mom. So I'm just looking to see if you got any food in here. Nope, sorry. Well, not in love with this one. This may change. I don't know. My hair is in Mark Twain's hair. This is going to have to go right here. Uh, 
I don't like this one. ended a whole video. <laughs> Didn't like it. Ugh. Can we have just a chit chat? I don't know. Mississippi. Trying to do some Mark Twain things and I can't get it done right. You don't like that. You don't like that. Whoa, what was that? This is what I just got finished doing. I tried to do an abstract Mark Twain, but it didn't work. Ah. Guess what? There are herons on the Mississippi. <laughs> We're going to do another heron. It's the ghost of Mark Twain. There's a song. I don't remember who it's by. And I don't know if it's the lyrics or the name of the song. The ghost of Elvis walking on Memphis. Memphis is on the Mississippi River. This is the ghost of Mark. And this heron is the only one that can see him. Yeah. See? You got to work through it, people. Let me try this before I... I'll tell you something else, too. Yesterday was 80. Today, the high is 50, literally. It is cold outside. Just playing with the lines that came from the watercolors. This is the ghost of Mark. Heron's the only one that can see him. He talks to the heron. That might be it today. See y'all tomorrow. Sometimes it's a struggle. And this is really out there. And I'm not sure I'm even going to keep it. But it's the Heron and the Ghost of Mark Twain. Thanks for watching. That's my Instagram account. And I will see you all tomorrow maybe with another Heron. I don't know.